Hello and welcome back to SLE. We're going to do a walkthrough video today on this 8.5 by 48 Trek Custom Concession um, gooseneck trailer here. We're going to start by walking around. This is just going to be your access door here. This is where you're going to find your uh, electric panels. This one's equipped with two electric panels. Um, so you got two 50 amp plugs for this, which obviously would require two generators. But you, uh, you've also got two 12-volt uh, batteries um, as well. Before we get too far, you got your generator storage here. Um, it's vented on the sides, that way you don't have issues with the generator staying running. Um, you got your propane cages underneath the riser, so these tanks, um, both 100-pounders, fit nice up underneath the riser out of the way. Got a little half bath in it, just enough to, to work. Got your hand sink in your toilet there. This is a 42-inch uh, RV style door, so it does have the uh, does have the screen inside as well. This trailer's got the 24-inch black. Um, this trailer's a little different because we got the we got the black out here, but then everything else they wanted all the rest of the trim in silver. Um, actually, turned out looks, looks pretty good. Um, eight thousand pound axles here, so it's got triple eights. Got your um, got your city water fill here. The reason this is here is just is because of the fact that the sinks. When we go inside, you'll see this. The sink package is right here. So um, that's your city water fill for that got a propane fed water heater in it so that this is the this is the back side of that um, so this is your water water heater um, access this is pretty neat um, this trailer is obviously a porch trailer we've got the dull wings above for flip ups we got a big old like old hickory el pdx uh, smoker mounted on this thing and we made these to where they're like barn door style, where they can easily access everything to clean, as far as cleaning it, and you know everything being done. Um, as far as your wood, um, they'll be able to get to this fairly easy. Got your propane hookup easily accessible. So this design was these people really thought about this a lot, and it turned out really well. On the back here, we've got the same thing, uh, same, same style, same barn door style here. As you can see up top, you've got the, it goes, all the, all the exhaust for the, for the wood box and the smoker itself goes through the roof. Um, got some LED lights out on the porch as well. There's a switch on the other side for that that's easily accessible as well. Um, we've got a 30 by 30 RV style window, so it slides, it can open, have a screen in there. So that's nice. Uh, some more LEDs along the side here for exterior lighting. And then we've got a 20 foot awning on here as well. Three by six concession window equipped with flip up counter. This is a TV box. So that turned out really well too. It's all nice and carpeted. You got your plug up there to plug the TV in. Not a lot going on in this trailer right now, really, because the customer is going to do a lot of their own install on this particular unit. So um, it's pretty empty in here, really, um, at the moment. But we did install the, uh, the double stack convection form and obviously the, um, the smoker, which turned out fantastic. It was really good. He done a really good job on the install. Super nice. All your racks there, all that'll rotate. 
rotate, so it's rotisserie, so that'll help rotate to you. Really nice unit. Like I said, here's your sink package. So you got your sinks here. Um, underneath, you got all your valves. There's your blowout valve, like we see, um, like we see in all these trailers. 30, 30 gallon fresh water uh, tank here. And then over here on this side, got your uh, got your water heater. Uh, another feature that this trailer got that's not super common, um, it's got the gray rubber coin flooring on it as opposed to the black. And uh, I think it turned out really well. I think it looked, got a really clean look to it. It's nice. This trailer also has the white walls instead of the aluminum mill finish walls. Um, it's got the heat extractor fan instead of a grease fan because it's just a, it's just a double stack convection. So I mean, it's just, just going to get the heat out. Uh, so we installed the heat extractor hood over the top. Got all your 20 amp plugs, all on independent circuits. Got all your light switches here by the door. And it's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I appreciate your time today and thank you for watching.